Hello, everybody, and welcome to Can They Let Me Into the Command Center This Time, Please? Oh, God, please. <laughs> they are dangling it in front of me, and I am getting more and more uh, pissed off. So, yeah, we're here. We're in the north wing, I think it was. Yeah, eastern side or western side or I don't know. But now we're going forward. What is this? Serve the emperor in your heart and deeds in your, the joint of the, the yeah, propaganda. Proper a new challenge for me. Excellent. Uh we have a ton of stuff to do this time. And we're just gonna be exploring more blind mad people. Very cool. Let me check. Ah, okay, so there was I did see over some there. loot over here. Oh we should deal with this. Okay. Uh Argenta? You're up, girl. Early. Very cool. I better myself through my service. Holy crap, they do not want me getting these goods. Never doubt me. Duty prevails. Watch me. I, I'm surprised that I have gotten the Emperor all of these. Me today. Oh, they do give you Never XP. Duty prevails. Okay, very cool. Now we seem to have gotten everything and we can get these goods. And then we're going to start the episode off with a bit of a level up here. Clearly obvious, oblivious to your presence, the soldier mutters incoherent and does not react to anything around him. Okay, cool. I woke cool. up with a feeling of wonder, as if a field of flowers was blossoming nearby. Okay, let's start from death. with... A thousand heretics were burning alive, begging and Figuring out how to do this. and howling. There we go. Okay. We're almost complete with the officer tree. And then level 16, we get to choose, I think we're going Master Tactician, if I remember correctly. Always in the thick of battle, never mind. Oh shit, I didn't mean to hit that. Uh, I wanted to go back. Grand Strategist is probably what I'm... Master of the battlefield positioning themselves and their allies. Grand Strategist and the crew increases. Battlefield effectiveness of their party designating strengthening important parts of the battlefield. Okay, yeah, we're going grand strategist. I forgot. Uh, very cool. So we're almost there. We're we're more than halfway there. Being level what? Ten now? Nine. Oh, two ten. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, persuasion. I don't know why I can't. You already have this feature? Okay. So I'm already getting a plus 10 to persuasion is what that's telling me, I believe. And I'm just picking another available skill. Uh, yeah, 77. From this. Uh, the ability... Character's business sense and their ability to make profitable bargains. Okay. Uh, this is the ability to resist negative effects. To manipulate others through intimidation and reach their desired goals. I do have really high <laughs> that. Coercion, not so much. Uh, I think I'll go this one. A oh, caruse. Sorry, this is coercion. Um, Yeah, I think I'll just bump that up. Keep going that way. I am getting a fellowship bump. I will take the ballistic skill bump. I believe. His weapon is melee. Yeah. And I think that's it for him. Abelard. Oh, he gets a new thing. Uh, I don't know what that word means. <laughs> uh, whenever the warrior is attacked, they gain plus one stack of this until the end of combat. At the start of their turn, the warrior gains plus one temporary wounds for each stack. These temporary wounds cannot exceed five. That doesn't seem... Very good. I'll be real with you. Easy target. Warrior's critical damage is increased by their strength bonus against enemies not armed with melee weapons. Ooh. That's also pretty good. I just get... Oh, more crit damage percentage. Okay, that's not that good, actually. Because <laughs> I want... 
crit chance, if I'm being real. Uh, contempt. Whenever the warrior enemy attacks the... Oh, whenever an enemy attacks a warrior, the warrior's next melee attack against the enemy deals an additional five damage. Does not stack, but it uh, can be reactivated after another attack made by either the same enemy or a different enemy. Ooh, that's pretty good. Just straight up five plus damage, especially when we're dealing with such low numbers here. Because his sword does what exactly? It does... Jesus Christ. These buttons, I'm getting there. God damn it. I wanna... God damn it. I wanna go to Avalard's fucking... Inventory, bro. There we go. What does this sword do? 8 to 12? Adding 5 to that is incredible, actually. So let's do that. Yeah. Whenever someone takes an attack on him. That sounds pretty good. And then... We should go strength? Toughness would be good. But strength is also pretty good just because of the fact that... That thing we... Oh no, that doesn't uh, deal with strength. Never mind. But doesn't that affect melee damage? Yeah, it does. Whereas toughness is just health, and he's been having a pretty good time with his health. He, we haven't really have been having a problem with him, especially with all his bonuses to temporary wounds and everything else. Super good. Logic tech use, Imper uh, we should go warp, maybe? Logic? No. We are getting awareness already, which is good. And then I think we'll go warlorp. Warlorp. God, I said it again, dude. <laughs> Lore warp. Um, I guess that's fine. I really just want her to be an expert on warp, which is good. And then we can go intelligence perception. Does intelligence... Uh, measurement of the knowledge, uh, for each bonus point in intelligence characteristics, deal 5% more damage with non-burst ranged area attacks. So that's like her lightning, I'm assuming. Um, it also affects all that shit. But her perception should be really good. Yeah, her and Cassia's perception is really, really good. It gives her more dodge. Ooh, but willpower. Withstand the horrors of the warp. Uh, it also increases the chances of res resisting negative mental effects and psychic powers. Hers is really high, plus six. That'll put it at plus seven. Whereas these are 50 and 30. Uh, let's go willpower. Yeah, hers is 65. That'll put her above. Unless we upgrade hers right now and it, <laughs> it undoes it. Uh, let's see. Wreck and Ruin. After the soldier deals damage to three different enemies, the soldier gains uh, ballistic skill, percent more damage on their next attack in current combat. That's pretty good, especially when she is the one doing the shotgunning and whatnot. Cover efficiency is increased by 10% for full cover and 20% by half cover. Breach adjacent ally, the soldier gains a uh, ballistic skill, more damage to enemies. That's pretty cool. I think we might go rack and ruin here. Let's scroll down and see what shield of faith. Devotee gains. Oh, is that weapon power or is that willpower? E, I don't know. Uh, will it tell me if I hover over it? Willpower. Yes. Okay. Because its weapon skill is WPS. Yeah, that's right. What is her willpower? Her willpower is... Oh, wow. Well, it's tanked right now. But if it's... It's a base 30. So that's three times four. Interesting. Uh-huh. What about Litany of Purification? 
All enemies in the area of effect of war, him or furious recital gain plus one stacks to the server. Uh, I got a phone call. I don't like that. Uh, <laughs> uh, Jason default two stacks disturbance 10. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to go with rack and ruin there. Cause that's just straight up. If I deal damage to three or more enemies or after dealing damage to three different enemies, the soldier gains that. Okay. So it doesn't necessarily mean in the same turn. Next attack of the current combat. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll go with that. And then she's getting ballistic skill, which is good. Does she need agility? Gives her high initiative, high dodge. Perception is not good. Well, that's with the negative 15. That's right. So her base is 30. Plus 10. So she actually has 40. Her perception isn't bad. I think we'll give her the agility here. That'll put her at plus 6. Yeah. Okay. Now for you. You don't need either of these. I don't think. Because Wilbur has both of these covered. Yeah, 102, bro. 102 persuasion. Oh, that's so good to see. Let us give you awareness. Yes. Give you awareness. And then... I guess fellowship because she does a lot of stuff like that. There's this 40. Let's see. Maybe we go into toughness. Oh, that's right. She's very, very weak right now. Eey. Okay. Perception, maybe? Perception be good. That puts her to plus six. Okay. And Pascal. Let's see, tech use he's already getting. Logic would be good. Because he's already really good at that. Uh, perception, not really. He's got really good weapon skills, so let's give him a little more ballistic skill, shall we? And then that's it. That's all there is for the level up. Now we're back it's to exploring. Time. And we're probably going to see, see another combat here. Oh, what is this? Ancient Terra Mo Monocle. The wearer's lore Imperium tests depend on fellowship instead of intelligence and gain plus three bonus. That's pretty good. I don't think I'm going to be putting that on anyone at the moment. Attention to detail is the key to success. What did you see? Oh, this up here. Oh, with all these captives and rebels. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I was right in saying we'd be seeing combat soon. Uh, if I go down here, is there anything for me? Doesn't seem like it. Pick the lock. 100% tech use. Very good. My success is an irrefutable certainty. Go to the lower level. Sure. Let's see what happens here. I think. It might be that we already been here, which would be fine with me because I do want to keep going forward and finally get to that command center, please, for the love of God. But maybe this is a separate secret place. No, it is not. It is literally the hallway that we didn't go down. Very cool. <laughs> I won't tolerate weakness. Okay, awesome. Okay. Well, now that we've got that out of the way, I believe there's no path forward here, which means it's combat time, everybody. Yay! Combat time. Uh, let me just double check the... Yeah, I have to go forward to do that. Okay. All right. Say hello. Hello, everyone. Some ten people, children among them, are huddling together in fear. You see that half of them have black holes where their eyes used to be. Is that because of the 
We were too late to arrive. Awesome. <laughs> Some maintain a gloomy silence, other a wailing. Others are wailing. Several armed insurgents are carefully watching over the terrified hostages, snapping every now and then at someone for shaking too much or crying too loud. Elderly citizen, come on, come to your senses, Erild. Er Erild? <laughs> Look what you're doing to my your own family. A woman about of about 60 gray hair, but still strong, is kneeling before a stocky man with a thick, pure white beard, stretching her arms towards him. Take pity on us. Let us go. Stop talking and embrace repentance. Our children have gained true sight while you still believe the lie. Upon seeing you, the man points at his, his weapon at you. The other insurgents do the same. Who are you and why are you here? Uh, no, you tell me. Who are you and what are you doing to these unfortunates? Are all these people your family? What are you trying to save them from? And who is behind all of this? Well, it kind of sucks that there's a trap right fucking there. I kind of just want to kill these guys without hurting the blind people. No, you tell me what you're doing. I'm the chief. My former name is Reld, I guess, uh, is meaningless now. I am a father leading this family to deliverance from woe to salvation. Aurora has opened my eyes to the truth and my children will see it. Spare us, spare your children. His mind and soul are pierced by shards of a colorful description. Hughes once twisted by despair and the immateriums influence uh, can never be the same again. Uh, Pascal's voice or Vox hisses furiously. Layperson cog... Nishin is not your primary function. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, what a line. Cognition is not your primary function, bro. God damn. <laughs> Savage. You are saving your kin by holding them at gunpoint to, and believe that burning their eyes will grant them sight. It is evident that the author of your demagogic teachings uh, that confused you meant to make a mockery of your deplorable intellect. Avalard's face turns a deep red to cast your own children into the thralls of heresy to drown your progeny in this filth with your own hands. Ooh, I got some stuff here. Okay, let's read the iconoclast. Uh, yeah, those are the same questions before. What are you doing is no salvation. What you are doing is no salvation. Stop taking the fear out on your, on the innocent. Stop taking your fear out on the innocent. It will never, it will neither ease your suffering nor rid you of fear or logic. You've been torturing your own family in order to save them. You've been blinding them so that they can see the truth. I'm going to go with Iconoclast here. But all I wanted was to save. I... The man drops his weapon and covers his face with his own hands in desperation. You hear several short sobs. There's no washing. Okay. <laughs> the blood from your hands. Uh, but you could at least let us go. The ones you haven't mutilated yet. Ooh. Uh, the man gestures to the other insurgents who lower their weapons. Then he shifts his gaze to you, trying to hold back tears. What happens to us now? Your family may go, and so may you. But make sure I do not ever see you again. Oh, uh, your family will be taken care of. As for you, I condemn you to death. We'll go Iconoclast, just because I don't really feel like letting this guy go, but we gotta. Iconoclast plus three. The hostages begin to leave as soon as the group disappears around one of the bins. 
The old man looks away from them and walks the opposite direction. His shoulders shake with sobs every now and then. I feel like that was way too easy. <laughs> Everybody just kind of <laughs> disperses. Okay. Interesting. No one stepped on the pressure plate, thank God. And yeah, no combat, it seems. Uh, very cool. Uh, Argenta? When the faithful are idle, heresy grows. I better Get myself these, shall we? my service. The Emperor favors okay. me today. Now, we should have goods down here. Yeah. Okay, let's see if there's any more traps. Doesn't seem None like shall it. Stand in my way. Let's uh let's go down here and get this goodies. Goods. Yep, some stuff for the cargo hold. And then we've got the command center. Oh, oh let's let's just finish exploring this a little bit real quick. Uh but we're there, we got it. Okay. Anything over here that we need to be worried about? A new challenge for me? Doesn't seem like it. Let's check the map. Seems like we're all good to go to the command center, everyone. We fucking did it. We did it and we didn't even have to go into combat for it. Oh, beautiful. Okay, command center, here we are. Holy shit. Took us quite a bit of time to get here, but... God, I hope it's worth it. Jesus. Okay. Uh, formidable shells for large caliber weapons are stored right in the command center. Sup, fuckers? Welcome to the command center. Thank you. Victory awaits. Took us way too long to get here. Dark green, gloomy and stifling, fills this space like dense fog. The people here are drained, exhausted, bewildered. Well, hopefully we can do something about that. Who am I in talking to here? Governor? Looks like everybody dispersed. Governor, there we go. The tall, dark-skinned man turns towards you and greets you with a curt military manner. Uh, fail soul? Rikeridi, my, oh fuck, of Coronas. Governor of, <laughs> of this star system. Uh, welcome to my temporary headquarters. The main gazes, falls on Abelard, his eyes slightly narrow. We're Syrian. My greetings, Governor. Governor's expression changes drastically when he sees Cassia. Lady Navigator, what an honor. I never thought that House Orcelio uh, would grace our world with a visit. I only wish I could have received you under different circumstances. Well, you probably could have, but you also probably couldn't have because we could have gotten here earlier and it would probably have changed, but then we probably wouldn't have Cassia. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Cassia purses her lips and the echo of grief knocks the wind out of those present. House Ocelio is grateful for the support that you have been provi have provided to Iraq 5 uh, these many years. I'm not seeing the convoy I'd sent to meet you. What happened? Did they fail to find and escort you? If that is so, I promise you their punishment will be swift and severe. What a curious exchange of pleasant trees. Uh, is there some kind of discord between you and Abelard? Convoy was ambushed and massacred. The only surviving soldier turned out to be a traitor and was personally executed by me. That is an outrage. I will have the personnel vetting procedure changed immediately. The slightest suspicion will be grounds for arrest. Well, that's not really what I wanted. Your Lordship, we proceed with discussing the matter that you are interest that are in, in of interest to you. Uh, there is a question I feel compelled to ask. It was only recently that Lady Theodora was the head of House Von Valencius. I received no word of her demise. How is it that you are now the rogue traitor? 
Uh, my esteemed predecessor died at the hands of cultists. May the emperor incinerate their souls. I should be the one asking the questions. Our ship was attacked by heretics. They killed Le Lady Theodora. Our ship was attacked. Lady Theodora was killed. I claim my inheritance. This is all you need to know. Uh, no, may their souls burn. The governor frowns in a deep saw shape shadow falls over his face rogue trader von valencia slain unthinkable please accept my deepest and most sincere condolences your lordship do not hesitate to let me know if i might be of help Ooh, commerce 40. uh i need a fresh crew to replace those killed in the attack of the ship and i need material compensation should i do that I realize that you yourselves are in a difficult situation, but my crew has sustained heavy losses. I must replace the missing crew members. My ship's crew has suffered heavy losses. I wish to sir. Okay, so these are all the same. I'm gonna go with the one that's a skill check. Uh, succeeded. Governor bows his head in acceptance. Of course, your lordship, you will be compensated for any losses, and I'll see to it personally that your ship holds, uh, ships hold are filled with the finest goods from our personal reserves. Awesome. Profit factor gain plus two. Abler nods an improvement and remarks quietly. Excellent, your ward lordship. A rogue trader has no use for leniency. Okay, I can offer you several thousand fine, obedient servants. However, I am sad to inform you that I won't be able to do it until we've dealt with the insurgency on the planet. I'm sure you uh, won't have to wait long. The rabble will soon be duly punished and their heretical scheme uh, for their heretical scheming. Uh, are you so confident that you will crush the insurgency so soon? Uh, my own impression <laughs> has been the exact opposite. I wish to command the courage of one of your officers, Sergeant Millard. He and his soldiers. Oh, yeah. Valently defended the spaceport. I'm definitely doing that. My kinship, kinsman Conrad Vortiger von Valencius has betrayed our dynasty in the Imperium. If he is hiding in the system, I want him handed over to me. Henrix Con von Kallax, the inter in interrogator of the ho most holy Inquisition, is operating the system. Do you know where he is? Uh, let's say about the guy first the sergeant who managed to impress a person of such noble standing will be recommended for decoration excellent um we're gonna say conrad vartiger vartiger is a traitor why any family however noble has an unworthy scion or two naturally we will surrender him should we find him with in our jurisdiction unfortunately i have no information regarding his location however the governor pauses to think. We have a computer here at the command center. It's connected to the data crypt from Logis Abel's Sanctum. What is a data crypt? Data repository sanctified by the Adeptus Mechanicus to be used in conjunction with a computer. Okay, so it's just a database. Uh, it adds aggregated oh it aggregated all lex mechanical reports lex mechanic reports a low-ranking tech priest okay unfortunately the access prayer for it is unknown to me if you manage to convince the stubborn machine you might learn something about conrad's movements i'd hazard he fled from from you on a ship not on a pair of wings well, maybe Pascal has something to say about that. And then let's ask about the Inquis Inquisitor. Governor lowers his voice. I do. Master Von Kallax uh, has left for the howled electrodynamic Cinnaboyum. What the fuck? It's an ancient monastery of the Adeptus Mechanicus. I don't know what his objectives are needless to say insurgent activity has been observed in the monastery's vicinity but i suppose that's too petty for of a problem for an agent of the most holy inquisition besides i already have already sent a small detachment of reinforcements there let's just see adeptus mechanic as a technological organization also known as the priesthood of mars which maintains construction 
and honors the sacred technologies of humanity. Cool. Investigate the Adeptus Me Mechanicus Monastery on record Menoris. Uh, the weapon the insurgents were using to shoot down the shuttles over the city has been destroyed. Now nothing is preventing you from returning to your ship. If you wish to find Master Von Klau Kalox, you should go to the Cenoboium. <laughs> uh, yeah. Notes of anxiety creep into the voice of that rattles from Pascal's Vox. On behalf of the priestess of Mars, I, Mago, Majos, am officially uh, initiating my participation in this operation. Uh, I must inspect the state of the relic and assure myself ensure myself that it is under zero risk of falling into the heretical hands. According to the catechism of maintenance and operation, my tech comrades were supposed to lock the monastery gates against lay people and activate the traps. I deem it optimal that an ordained majos should provide his assistance. I categorically object. The governor clenches his fist. As much as I respect the sanctity of your monastery, I have my hands, uh, I have on my hands a whole capital that needs to be attended by the Omnisaya servants. We have lost many eminent tech priests. Uh, incidentally, one of them perished in the same monastery. Mechanical failures could occur at any moment. Putting it bluntly, you may consider yourself forcibly recruited into the city's defense forces. Uh, they stare, glare at each other. They're unyielding gazes like crossed swords. Uh, you've picked an interesting time to quarrel with the servant of the Omnisaya, Governor. This is part of my retinue. You have no right to give him orders. Perhaps he is right. Uh, I kind of want to keep Pascal. So I'm going to go. You have no right to give him orders. You mistake me for a fool. I know that he arrived separately from you, and I would bet my life that no... Uh-oh, what is he doing? Uh-oh, what is he doing? <laughs> the governor's voice dies down to a low growl, growl and of a drilling mechanorite. Its tip is directed straight at the bridge of his nose. Uh, he clears his throat and grumbles stubbornly. So this is the negotiation technique you have resorted to. Do you think this is the first time I've been threatened with a weapon? No, but it could be your last. Pascal's voice is akin to the sound produced by his drilling implement, steady and calm, but ready to explode at a moment's notice with the crunching of bone and squelching of tearing flesh. I am heading to the monastery because I must. Is that clear? The governor muttered through gritted teeth, abundantly so, Majus. Okay. Why are you so determined to get to the monastery? It's just because of the relic. It would be my pleasure to assist the Amasaya servant in reaching the sanctuary sanctum. Thank you for your cooperation, your lordship. The drill stops. As compensation of your consideration of my request, I officially undertake undertake to accompany you in the Rikard system in the role of bodyguard and protect you at all costs until your life functions cease but only within the limits of the Rikard system okay interesting your hadamanimlalo hmm glad you're alive the governor raises his eyebrow and stares at the tech priest in surprise, but refrains from further commentary. I wish to know more about your monastery. Uh, why not shell the monastery if it is where the insurgents have gathered or deploy a landing force? Pascal, uh, what it is, what is so special about the thing and the relic? What is in there? That has drawn the attention of the interrogator of the Inquis oh, Inquisition. Uh, what has perplexed you about my companion's name? 
Yeah, let's ask that, actually. Governor looks at Pascal with curiosity. According to the reports we received, Logis Abel Hamelabla set off for the hallowed blah 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 a short while ago before it was stormed. I'm glad to find out that you are safe. Perhaps you possess information on Master Von Klax. Uh, rasp and confusion. My name is Pascal Hamelabla, not Abel. I know nothing about the such a person. Uh, what do you know about this Abel, Governor? I've never met him in person. The esteemed Logis uh, supervised the work of Riker and Minoris Lex Mechanics, Lex Mechanics for many years. However, he rarely left his Cyber Chapel. <laughs> cyber Chapel, that's fucking great. And I never had the honor of making his acquaintance. A true Antirite? I don't know. Uh, why did he fly to the monastery? This seems suspicious. Where can I get information on this individual? Find him at the monastery. Okay. I would suggest, uh, uh I would have suggested that you inspect the esteemed Lodge's Sanctum, but it was destroyed by the rebels. We recovered several data crypts and connected them to the cognitors. Uh, at the command post, they might provide you with some information. Cool. So there's... Tons of information here at the command post. <laughs> it is amazing that the mechanical voice from the Vox can sound so confused. That name might have been used as a signal intelligible only to its intended recipient. In that case, its bearer might be Archmage's Amarant. Amarant? Uh, initiating an investigation and data collection procedure. Adira tenses up and listens. They turn, then turn sharply to face Pascal. I can hear my friend Snide whispers through the door. Be careful on your search, Majos. Uh, or Magos? Magos? If you stare into the shattered mirror for too long, you might see yourself in it. In every shard at once. Mending it is that much more of a tainted affair than the new reflection is death-like interesting why not fly why did he fly there uh when he wants to go somewhere <laughs> we don't ask why your lordship i see glad to be of service your lordship are you confident uh no that's all i wanted to discuss find out what's going on okay maybe i can Discuss the insurgency as you wish. Okay, here we go. Reddits are too well organized, too well informed, and too well armed. There are signs of indoctrination of heretical beliefs into heretical beliefs. They are clearly being directed by someone competent and charismatic. Governor, you are dealing with an arch enemy cult that is growing at an alarming rate. The insurgency is headed by a, a certain Aurora prophet who, according to the followers, possesses mystical powers. The insurgents talk of a final dawn, the impending demise of the world. The insurgents are using the arch enemy's artifacts, enchanted lenses, and performing unholy sorcery. I can see that it is not in my power to convince you. Let us change the subject. Uh, they're too well organized. Governor's eyes darken, but your unwavering gaze makes him give in. All right, all right. Perhaps I underestimated the mutiny, writing it off as rabble un uh, usual nonsense. However, if it does involve corruption and under an underground cult, this may need to need this needs to be investigated. I'll assign additional resources to it and take the issue seriously. You have my word, your lordship. Okay. Okay, and that's it. Uh, I wonder where that specific computer is. Maybe it's this one. Cognor looks a, a lot older and more worn than the ones next to it. However, it has evidently been well cared for. Numerous parts have been replaced. Not a single key is jammed and fresh seals with prayers to the Omnisada adore its surface. 
One of the side panels has been removed. Bundles of gold notched cables run from inside to a small data crypt that was connected only a short while ago. Force access to the cognitor. Awaiting access codes? Okay, success. You've bypassed the security layers. The cognitor is ready to reveal its secrets. Pascal leans forward and runs his fingers over the keys. The cognitor's screen blinks and responds with strings of unknown characters. I appealed to the machine spirit to open Legos Abel's, Legos Abel's personal archives as well. It has accepted my request. Go to his private, private archives. Result of his data trance. I cannot see the secret design, but I can sense it shackled in stasis. The minds of the initiated are slumbering in the neural harnesses. Oh, in, a, in the neural harness of their vows. I am registering an impulse of change. I surmise that the potential influence of the stasis of the secret design. There came a time when the spiral was turned into a circle, but the cycle cannot be discontinued. Revelation granted by the Omnisci of Lagos Abel uh, in the course of his data minute meditation has been recorded verbatim. Abel is seeking an audience with the venerable Dar Impulse 6 <laughs> who may assist in interpreting the revelation, a request has been sent to the governor's palace for a shuttle flight to the, uh, the place, you know, the place, a message has also been sent to the Furibundus system. Cycle has been discontinued. I recognize these words. Oh, can be discontinued. I recognize these words. The voice from the Vox is soft and pensive, barely audible over the static noise. I believe I know the intended recipient of the messages message in the Furibundus system. It was me, Omnisaya. Grant me the wisdom to fathom this mystery. Sacred computation 782-5-M. Upon Abel's orders, the archives of every auger station on Riker Minoris uh, and the two primary satellites of Riker stars have been quarried. Said satellites are named Majos Marufo and Zerif the Keen. <laughs> Zafriri Vera the Keen. Uh, after two great champions of faith who external uh, computers were placed inside the satellite's cores after their shells perished. The purpose of the sacred computation requested by the Logis is to uncover the external influence behind the ongoing insurgency. Computation result positive. Multiple instances of interference and malfunction detected suggesting that the ships moving across the system deliberately blinded the sacred auger's eyes. The first of these ships is thought to have arrived in uh, Riker Menoris cycles ago, early in the winter. The most recent one arrived a month ago. Oh. Abel's conclusion, the insurrection on the planet has been long in the making and the participation of external actors with the participation of external actors. Uh, it is alleged that two cycles ago, Aurora arrived in the Rikard system, the rumored unholy prophet of the insurgents. The subsequent ship movements can be attributed to weapons delivery, but what is the nature of their activity here near... Rikus Philia. Uh, governor, uh, attention must be drawn to the final entry cuts off abruptly. But recent observations. The satellite uh, reports that sh a ship translated into the system. Its signature is consistent with records of the flagship of the Road Trader Dynasty House von Valencia. Cool. The other satellite reports that a ship drifting nearby has hurriedly sped away. The ship has spent an encrypted Vox transmission to an 
insurgent controlled areas of the surface of Rikern Menorahs. Another transmission was direct, directed to planetoid Rikophilia. Both transmissions were signed Brother Twilight. Their contents could not be decrypted. Uh, go to to be investigated. The entry contains planetside coordinates marked as heavy auger station jamming, possibly a hidden insurgent base. Okay, holy shit, leveled up again, guys. I'll lay claim to the stars. All right, and is that all there was? Is this anything special? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, let's level up one more time. Blood of Martyrs. Whenever an ally uses a heroic attack, that heroic attack tem temporary wounds equal to their max resolve. Focus. Whenever the officer uses an ability on the ally, that ally gains a bonus to their perception and ballistic skill equal to blah, blah, blah. These bonuses stack, but half the stacks rounded up are lost at the end of the target's turn. Whenever the officer targets an ally with an ability for the first time in a round, that ally gains four temporary wounds. Uh, personal oversight. Whenever the officer targets an ally with an action, the ability, or an attack, uh, that ally's resolve is increased by plus one until the end of the officer's next turn. This effect stacks and is prolonged until the end of the officer's next turn each time it stacks. Okay, well, let's go down and see. Wait, that was this, is it? You do something if a noble uses an ability on the servant. The servant gains one AP next turn, does not stack within itself. Okay, so I can give them one AP if I just use anything on them. That's cool. I wonder if that turns my giving them two AP into a three AP move. Oh, no, it's their next turn. Okay. Uh, the Noble Servant gains two movement points every turn. Very cool. If the Servant kills the target that the Noble dealt damage to last turn, Noble gains plus one AP next turn. Interesting. If the Noble and the Servant are adjacent to each other at the start of the Noble's turn, they both gain temporary wounds equal to... The yeah, this isn't good. Uh... Let's take a look at, I wonder if I can just give him even more persuasion. It's plus seven persuasion. The character would improve the skill. So if I do that, oh, it doesn't tell me. Damn, that would be interesting though. I wonder if there is a, what is combat master? Enemies game no melee superiority bonus. Dueling. Grenadier. It will not die. Increase wounds by half of the character's level rounded up. Interesting. Last weapon expert. Enemies suffer a 20% penalty to dodge against last weapon attacks. That's pretty good. Um, huh, I think we just fucking bump his persuasion. How funny would that be? Plus seven. Fuck it. And then he's also getting fellowship and then we should give him ballistic skill or toughness. He's not really in the front lines, so let's give him more ballistic skill so that he can uh just shoot better, eh? And then what is his persuasion at now? 107 or 109. Damn. And does that, oh, that doesn't, it's only these that give the plus whatever. Okay, still though, that's so fucking good. Let's get that away. Let's go here. Abelard. Oh, you get a new move. Sworn enemy. A warrior makes, marks a target, gaining armor on melee attacks the target uh attacks the warrior the end of the round okay that's not good breakthrough the warrior gains the slash ability with agility bonus divided by two 
charges for the round slash cannot be used in the same round as a charge Eey. is that oh slash uses zero ap the warrior dashes through the enemies to make cell on the opposite side and makes a melee attack with 50 percent reduced damage can be applied only one target per round does not provoke an opportunity attack that's actually super good so if I can, that's zero AP and I straight up just run behind them and hit them. Uh, the warrior gathers all their might for a crushing strike. Their next melee attack pushes the enemy away in the distance of the cell. Okay. Taunting scream. Oh, warrior screams at the air enemies to draw their attention and becomes the priority target of any enemy who fails a willpower resistance check Ooh, we are kind of using him like a tank and that's pretty fucking good oh i'm really torn between breakthrough and taunt i think i'll take taunt Yeah, I think I'll take the, well, I think I'll take the breakthrough because the taunt is really easy to do when he's the only one out in the open, which hopefully we do correctly. Uh, get into cover. All allies affected by brace for impact gain an extra turn with zero AP and three MP. Increases their cover efficiency by 20% for one round. Okay. Perfect timing. All allies affected by Brace for Impact gain. So what is Brace for Impact exactly? That's Endure. Do I even have Brace for Impact? I'm sure I do. Better to die for the Emperor. Under 40% wounds. Imperial uh, gain plus 10. All Okay. Uh, ready to serve. Oh, fuck. I, I'm all over the place. If in no other character in the current party has the same archetype as this character, the first archetype ability used in each combat. Oh, okay, cool. Which is good right now because we don't have another warrior, but we might get one. So who knows? Having two tank would tanks would be better than having one tank for sure. Uh... Non-damaging ability is affected by ally resolve increase. Excluding Xenos. <laughs> the current party gain a plus five to the same characteristics as was chosen for humanity's finest. Okay. Do not falter. Do not suffer negative effects of melee superiority for combat. Okay. Scatter's pretty good, I think. Affected by Brace for Impact, suffer only half damage from all stacks of attacks of opportunity. I guess that could be good to pop if I fucking remember to. Uh, we could just straight up give him more... Uh, if we go toughness here... Or we can go strength. Plus five to strength. Or plus five to toughness. I think we go toughness. Just to get his health up. He's got 39 health. That's pretty good. Adira. Weak body, weak soul exposure. The enemies reduces their toughness and willpower for one round. Ballistics calculations. The operative attacks a target affected by an exploit from a distance of blah, blah, blah cells or further. The attack deals 15% more damage. That's not that good. I think we go weak body, weak soul here. That just debuffs them even further. Let's just take a look at some of these down here. And the Psyker is using div divination psychic power on an ally without an unnatural luck effect. That ally gains an unnatural luck effect. When the ally suffers a critical hit, it becomes a normal hit instead. No, nah, that's not that very good. Predicted downfall. The first dodge attempt of any of every enemy in the combat suffers a penalty. Interesting. 
Every ninth successful dodge or parry by the Psyker and their allies combined grants the Psyker plus additional 2 AP. Hmm, that's interesting. I don't know if we've had that many, though. Allies under the effect of one Psyker power gain the additional armor penetration. At the beginning of every combat, the Psyker's allies gain 15% critical hit chance for the first critical hit removes this effect. Okay, yeah, we're going to go with uh, weak body, weak soul there. And in here, we're getting lore warp and awareness. So I guess we go logic there. 30, 30, 30, 30, 33, yeah. I mean, Pascal's got crazy logic, so none of these are really impactful for us. Got 45 there. That'll put it at 40. Xenos. Argenta's is supposed to be higher, I'm sure. Uh, I guess we go Medicaid. Affected by intelligence is essential to detect and cure injuries that characters suffer in combat. It also increases the number of wounds restored by medkits and allows uh, used to use higher quality medkits. A high Medicaid value also assists in healing old injuries before they turn into traumas. I guess we'll go Medicaid. That's really all the option there. Ooh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Controlled shot. The soldier gives a sign that they are about to open fire. The soldier and their allies will automatically dodge the soldier's next attack. Fuck, that's good for a shotgun. Oh, God, I wish I had that on Cassia. Holy shit. Uh, dash. Soldier immediately dashes in a selected direction, spending all of their movement points, does not provoke opportunity attacks, allows the soldier to dash through allies and enemies, but not through obstacles. Okay. Entrenched. Soldier immediately spends all their AP and MP and gains 30% bonus to cover efficiency uh the next time the soldier uses running gun they gain back all the spent ap and mp plus one additional ap it also resets the cooldown of all other abil soldiers abilities except running gun rapid fire the soldier's next burst attack will have its rate of fire doubled but deal 25% less damage all shots will follow random trajectory trajectories trajectories fuck <laughs> only works with weapons capable of burst fire Ooh, uh not a lot i think i'll go with this one maybe that'll help me i'll remember to dodge them awareness here not very good uh athleticism she's getting demolitions which is good we need demolitions Now, is this, what is this? Uh, it's intelligence, perception, willpower, and fellowship. Okay, down by 15. That's probably why. Yeah, perception, uh, strength, intelligence right there. Intelligence, yeah. And that's all being debuffed. Uh, I guess we go with athleticism. That'd be good. Awareness is good, though, too. So it has, uh, perception is getting debuffed. Oh, but Cassie and Adair already have way good perception or awareness. Yeah, let's go athleticism. Cassia. Uh, she's got a bunch of, bunch of bullshit to go through. I'm probably not going to be honest. Uh, Blood of Martyrs, all heroic decks, yeah, focus. These are all abilities. Officer's Resolve is increased by three. That's pretty good considering um, we can use that to give people other, other people turns. I think that's just 
good. That's just a good take. Fellowship might be good. Perception is good too. Why does he have 60? I thought she had really good perception. I guess Adira has... Oh, Adira has less perception. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Because Fellowship is 40, which I don't need a whole heck of a lot of. But it also, it does our skills. Yeah, so this is Fellowship bonus. Yeah, let's bump our Fellowship there. She needs it. Pascal. Fresh target. Uh, enemies with full wounds that attack deals more damage to that enemy. I think that's good. What's Tide of Excellence? Whenever the operative triggers an exploit on an enemy, the in operative gains plus one damage and plus two armor penetration till the end of combat only applies for the first projectile in a burst attack stat. Okay, never mind. That's actually not that good. Uh, let's take a look at these calculated revelations. Forge world. Oh, these are their forge world counterparts. Oh yeah, this is all his bullshit. Uh, gain five MP for the first round of combat. Every successful melee attack grants Pascal int movement for the next round. Interesting. We aren't really finding a way to get him in there. So that might be a good way to do that. How much damage does, let me, uh, let me go here, here. How much damage does this thing do? Nine to 11. Oh, but it's got that brutal attack, bro. Hey, okay. And it does bleeding. Holy shit, that thing's actually kind of cracked. 35% armor penetration? Okay, let's go back here. We might want to start throwing him in there. How much health does he have? He's got 32. He's done. He's not too far behind Abelard. Every successful melee attack grants him more movement points. We're aiming protocols. Pascal gains uh, plus five to intelligence bonus to ballistic skill and dodge reduction with plasma or melta weapons. Okay. His melee attacks apply the main machine spirit communication effect on all attacked enemies. I think we're going to go with the acceleration protocols. That seems really dope. Uh, should we do Medicaid? This Medicaid is really good. Plus, I believe this scales off it. Yes. Um, though his logic is also really good. He's already getting. So it's either logic or Medicaid, and I'm going to go logic this time. OK, holy hell. It's another about time. Yeah, another hour episode in the books, but we finally got to the command center. Holy cow. And then I think from there, uh, it sounds like, let me, do I have a journal? Let me go J for journal. We do. Okay. We have quite a bit of stuff to do. Let's actually look through these other quests. Call of the edge. Become a God to your subjects. I'm sorry. What? The powerful warp entity promises the road trader might and power. If he manages to become a new champion of chaos. The future champion of chaos needs followers. There is only one way to pr prove your might to the servants by committing acts against mortals. And in the name of chaos, the rogue trader is also was told to seek the sacred dawn, presumably meaning another sword shard. The second dawn. OK, that's weird. New blood. Crew losses suffered during the cultist raid can be remedied on Regimenoris. We uh, kind of sort of did that a uh, response and re request and response uh, tech priest Pascal has arrived on Regimenoris at the request of his mentor the planetary rebellion is uh, 
interfered with the meeting, but he is adamant in fighting his teacher. So now for Pascal's quest, we just need to go to that uh, monastery. These are companion quests. Awesome. Uh, Gleam of the Final Dawn. Okay, so we need to go there again because that's for the uh, Inquisitor. That's a chapter one quest. Looking for trouble. We also have to go there. Called the rogue trader, the inter interrogator, interrogator uh, is there that agent's golden throne is most likely to be found. So these are kind of the same thing here. And then that's it. That's all the... Uh, Okay, cool. Rumors. An identifying void ship. We already looked into that. Wait. According to the satellites, one of the identified void ships circling a nearby star has landed on a large uninhabited world in the system. Okay, weird. Warden of the Expanse. Lord Inquisitor Xavier Calcarza or Calcazar is a powerful and mysterious figure who plays a pivotal role in the fate of the Coronas Expanse. His power is so great that it extends even over rogue traders. Interesting. And in no contracts. We'll see about that. Okay. Well, now that we've gone through all that, uh, another hour episode in the books. God damn, this game is fucking good, though. <laughs> I am just loving it. I'm loving every little bit of it. I can't get enough. I'm going to be playing this for quite a while, and I'll see you in the next one.